Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Ow. It is early and I'm here with the Daisy dog. Come on Daisy, come on. And I'm gonna give up the rest of our blueberries to the chickens and take out the watermelon that we gave them yesterday. They love watermelon. Let's see if I can just drop them in. You'll like it. You'll like it, girlies. Blueberries. <laughs> Molly, stop chasing the chickens. Come try the blueberries. Come on. Yesterday, when my son was here, uh, we went out to look at the chickens. And one of them got free. It's always the same girl. She's She's an adventure seeker, you guys. She got free and Nick ran to chase her out through this big field and it's like waist high hay. And he was losing her. He was losing her and he was trying his hardest and then all of a sudden out of nowhere came Molly and she herded that chicken right back to the coop. And Nick was like, wow, this dog is smart. Not everybody knows about Border Collies, I think one of those things that most people know they're smart but no, nobody really understands the true essence of a border collie right you guys can tell Daisy won't leave unless Sophie leaves she's very one person I mean she loves us all but she is very protective of Sophie and sticks with Sophie Sophie has her simple dimple Gabby's already down there <laughs> Gabby's like I will win for one she runs down and then she sits and waits for Sophie. It's so crazy. She looks back, goes ahead. I wonder if she feels... I wonder if Daisy is even more cautious about Sophie because we never stop to like think and make sure that she knows that, hey, what is happening here? You only fed your own horse? Is here my horse? She's like, feed me. We know, it's okay. I actually have to go get shavings today. So yeah, about Daisy, I'm wondering if she like is extra, if she pays extra attention to Sophie and where she is all the time because she's deaf and she can't, she, she relies on that extra sense of being really mindful of Sophie and it's because she can't hear. I don't know if that makes sense. Make Come baby, just when I tell you guys to wait for me and you guys don't wait, and my dog's the only one that waits. I know, isn't that lucky? God sent you somebody who waits with you. Just like Cookie. Yeah. When I'm in the shower, she pushes the door open so yeah. she can come in and see if I'm okay. Yeah. I ever just woke up in the morning and been so excited and happy to wake up for absolutely no reason? You're just happy? Yeah, that's me today. I and my fellow non-morning mm -hmm. people kill people like that. <laughs> Gabby says that her and her fellow non-morning people want to kill people like me and that's true like there are a lot of people out there that get annoyed with people that are happy and people that are, talk a lot and people that make noise and then there are people who talk a lot and make noise who get annoyed with people who never talk and are quiet and then there are people that are however they are and they accept that other people are however they are and they just find the people that are like them and hang out with them and they just let the other people be themselves and do what makes them feel good Look at me right now. be that it's person a dog. be that person well, hello how did you get there she goes underneath the fence she goes underneath the fence hello uh oh <laughs> see how smart she is if that had been Ruby, she would have stayed there and wanted me to open the door for her, but Ruby, Molly, oh, okay. They obviously want to go into the arena. <laughs> I don't know why. Just to smell the cat. Yeah. She's right by our side. Yeah, so you, she could be out there playing and having fun, but instead she's over here loving her girl and making sure everything is good. Go play. We know you want to.
Is it good? Like it won't rub on her? Just, just, Gabby, can you check that? I don't know if it's like. Poor Willow. <laughs> She's like, this is terrible. Is it rubbing or be rubbing on the fly mask? Yeah. Right. Poor Willow. What do you guys think is in Sophie's hand? Whoever likes grasshoppers. Whoever likes grasshoppers. Oh! It's on my foot. It's on my foot. They didn't get to see it. In Canada, our grasshoppers are really tiny until like August and then they start to get bigger and bigger. I have a friend who's addicted oh, to it. grasshoppers. She loves them. Woo! I don't know if I caught it again. She loves them and she calls them chads, and the reason is is that any animal that she sees out in the wild or out in the farms that she passes by, she names them all the same name so that she never forgets what their name is, and she, that name is Chad. We found a chad, you guys. We found a chad, finally. Comment below if you like grasshoppers. And comment below if you like peas and beans, because let me tell you, I overplanted this year. Way overplanted. I'm trying to get my garden haul done this morning quick. And I wanted to rip out all the beans and peas. So my garden has more room to grow, but there's just too many and they're not done yet. I had to graduate from my little bucket that I usually bring to this big giant horse bucket. And it is full. And these zucchinis, I don't know about them. Like they just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and but not darker. And all the zucchinis I've ever grown are different, different styles. So uh, I just picked them, you guys. But there is a lot of produce in this bucket. A lot. Laura thought that a bigger garden this year and lots of vegetables would be amazing. Don't be like Laura. It's a lot of work. It took me an hour just to pick all this stuff. Okay, so this is it. This is it so far. Like, I don't know what to do. There's too much stuff. Even my tomatoes up here that are getting more ripe are a lot. And believe it or not, Sophie and I are the only ones that eat this stuff. And Sam will eat the tomatoes, but that's it. That's a lot of stuff. This is what Sophie and I have been doing all morning. I'm getting ready to blanch my beans. This is how many beans I have from today. Look at how many beans I picked today. That's a lot of beans, you guys. Over in this corner, Sophie is sh shelling peas. The pea popper. So yeah, this is all the husk or whatever it is called. If your parents are ever doing these, and you want to make a homemade fidget, um, just do these. I'm like, yeah, this is homemade fidgets, guys. Like homemade that. fidgets. All right, so we are at the mall and we are getting lunch. Sam is buying it for us because he came home early. He's beginning to have a love for bags, the same as I am. I love this. I like this one. $79. This one's really cute. I don't know if it's leather though. I like the blue one too. <laughs> And I like this purse too because it has like this little bag inside of it. I like lots of compartments. Is it rubber? It's rubber. Cute. It's super cute. Alright, let's go. She wants to go and look and see if they have any more fidgets. But look at these. These are fun for the beach. Oh yeah, I need them. Ooh, I also want to get a new bathing suit. All right. All right, this so. This be awesome. We are back at the fidget section. I want to do so badly. 
saw them play. Yeah, the well, they have them there. here. They have uh, the one that you got, not real? Yeah, it's a fake it's one. The one you got is fake? Well, it's a fake one because it's from Sheen. Obviously. These are all the TikTok candies. Oh, so these, oh, I have these for the grandkids. I don't know where I put them. I didn't give them to them. But they used to come in a bag. Now they come in a bucket. That's good advertising. All the TikTok candy. Planet gummy. This is Sophia? Yeah. His name is Sophia. Sophia. I need it. It's cute. How do you know he's lame? Oh my gosh. How bad? It's been a bad afternoon. She knows. How do you know he's lame? Oh my god. All right, Chino Bambino, why you gotta be lame? So we, we weren't here yesterday, we just got here today. I don't know what happened. We're just sending a video to our vet and waiting to see what he says. I know, it's okay. Okay, so, so, one day get to chill on sand. Yeah, Gabby and I, so I'm videoing, sending videos to our vet and trying to figure out what's happened to Chino. But we don't think that it's like anything super serious. It doesn't look like anything serious. Anyways, he gave us instructions on what to do. And we're going to do that. And then we'll see him in the morning if he's not better. Gabby's going to cold hold him. And Sophie already did, Sophie did everything. She just went in the barn, got her horse all ready. While we were freaking out, dealing with, okay, only I was freaking out. What? Oh, it's been a bad night. It's been a bad he's night. Can you close that, please? You know how you're just going along and everything seems okay and then all of a sudden, everything just falls apart? That's what happened. I hate horses. They make them beautiful. Hurt. Yeah, I'm gonna go get it for them. I've got some strong water. So, Gabby's here, cold hosing Chino. The water pressure gets so strong. But I don't think he needs strong water power. I know that hurts. And then it's Sophie's over there. I cut myself from the water. Water would cut me because I don't I don't know why Sophie's in such washer. a I was washing shoes and I somehow sprayed my foot. You know the times when you freak out because your adrenaline gets going and you're worried and you're upset and then you freak out and get upset? Oh, I hate when that happens and I was like so frustrated about Chino being lame, being so lame and not knowing like when he got lame and it, it was and then I got mad, and then I was like, oh my gosh, Laura, calm down. Like, horses get hurt. But then I just feel bad that I was mad. He's moving. He's moving. He's making his getaway plan. I cannot believe how quickly this day turned south. But Sophie's enjoying herself. Remember, practice what Fiona taught you. Really bad that I was mad. Yes, that's right. Good job, Sophie. So Sophie just did a flying lead change. I mean, no. Did she just do a flying lead change? Yeah. You just keep doing that. Okay, like miracle. I'm praising it. To say I have a strong. Yeah. So what is he riding in right now? Just a snaffle. 
Yeah. Snuggle, yeah, he we'll needs Yeah, he needs a refresher again for yeah. sure. But yeah, you just did a flying lead change. What did you do? I don't know. I think I gave him mixed signals. On or off. And he's like, wait, what am I supposed to do? And he's like, oh crap, I'm on the wrong lead. I need to swap that. So basically, so basically you said flying lead change and then he just did it himself. You know what's kind of sad? What? These are one hole higher than my jumping length. So does that mean she's got longer legs than you? She's growing. She's growing. Well, you guys know that in the no. past, Gabby, Sophie's been like really nervous to try lead changes and all that stuff, and she's just getting braver and braver and braver. Like it's shocking. Got to take my belt. Hang on. Yeah, got to do the be belt. Really bad. It's because my pants. Remember, on loose my rain. When I ride. Loose rain, sister. I'll be framing. All right. just been crazy like so Chino's lame but just sore like he doesn't seem like anything's swollen or I don't know we'll see you see your eyes you be good okay rest bye bye we'll see you in the morning we'll be back for you we're gonna have to come back in the morning and pull toes him again give him beaut yeah let me have a tip too can you turn off that light please Give him our butte and see, same protocol as last time. The horse is accident prone. Like, how does a horse always get hurt? That's a first, do you guys see it? Usually I see hearts. Now I feel like that's a creepy smiley face, like aha. Everybody I talked to tonight is saying that the day has been just terrible and it was really good for us until just before we left to come to the barn. Like, it just seems like, <laughs> I have a friend who just had surgery and it was stressful and it just it just seems like everything is falling apart you guys. I need a good nap. That's what I need. Don't you know that you're beautiful?